PBD, my man. I just wanted to say thank you. This has been an amazing last year. My business, uh, AI innovation, has been skyrocketing. This is one of the hardest things I've done. Write a book, three years. Obviously, you've written many of them. You know what I'm talking about. I wrote this myself, actually. And uh, in the middle of all of this, the most exciting thing that has happened in the recent past is getting a message from you with my name personalized. Thank you, brother. Really appreciate you. You have no idea. Uh, I remember you back from the days where you were wearing the tracksuit, standing back there with a the chalkboard, writing on the board the 10 tips on how to break a million dollars, how to sell, what not to do in business. Amazing. I've actually applied a lot of those myself that helped me get to where I am today. And, um, and here we have this book summarizing a lot of that. I know you're very busy. You've got a lot going on. Uh, 500 books. Wow, that's, that's a lot of books in your backlog. But I would argue that uh, this book is for this era. Many books have been written in the past. This is for entrepreneurs, for founders, trying to grow their business to their next level, how they can succeed faster instead of failing again and again and pivoting. And this is based on the work that I do every day as an innovation consulting company, building uh, business innovation, AI-based uh, innovation for companies. And I would, I, I would recommend uh, chapter two, uh, be a seeker, not a bullshitter. That has changed the course of many, many businesses that I uh, consult with, help them be very successful faster. Chapter three, importance of tapping in the zeitgeist. I think this book is for this zeitgeist right now, for the era of AI disruption. It's not a very technical book, but uh, the zeitgeist and the four types of markets that I've defined and how to play each market, I think all of your companies would definitely benefit from this. Most importantly, never go to market or allow your company to go forward without a wow factor, chapter eight, chapter nine. And chapter 10, most importantly, Pick the right day customer. What happens when you pick the wrong day one customer versus the right day one customer? All that playbook right here. It's fun, easy read, very applicable. And whether it be two years from now, love to hear what you think about it, whether uh, you choose to get it in front of your list, take a look. If it's going to benefit your businesses, uh, I would be grateful. If not, either way, today, I'm going to be reaching out for some business consulting. I have some business questions to ask you. I'm going to sign up for your 15-minute uh, video Minect uh, meeting. But for now, I just really want to say thank you. And I'm going to be sending you a signed copy of this book. And my company and my book's signature, Innovation Done Right. Uh, and you're going to be the first person to get the T-shirt with your name on it because you are uh, the best example of innovation done right coming from Iran. I know your story very well, where you are today. Phenomenal. I forgot to introduce myself. Looking good? Hi, my name is Lev Tulsidas. I'm the founder and CEO of an award-winning innovation consulting company. I started TechLution in 2015, and just four years later, in 2019, we proudly receive the Inc. 500 award for being one of the fastest growing companies in America. Just like in all epic movies, a few months later, the big twist came to my story. <sighs> Just like in all epic movies, shortly after, the big twist came in my story. In 2020, we were severely impacted by the COVID shutdown. Our business was in shambles. I lost 40% of the revenue that took four years to build in just one short month. This was a very difficult time for me, my family, and my colleagues, but we stayed focused and used this time wisely to build the next version of TechLution using secret number three in this book to ensure that we align the company to the new incoming zeitgeist. I believe that this courageous but calculated move, thanks to secret number three in this book, in the face of extreme failure, led us to the next coveted award in 2022. We receive 
the best in business title for innovation consulting from the famous Inc. magazine. Today, with my amazing team, we have built TechAllusion to be a leader in real world AI. We were recognized with the AI Conics Award at the AI Summit in 2023 for being the leading AI solution provider of the year. You may be thinking, why is he bragging with all of these awards? I am not. Okay, maybe I am a little bit. But my beginnings were quite humble. I wasn't born with the qualities and the platform that I needed to live up to my own big ambitions. Except for secret number one, which I was born with, the other nine secrets I did not learn about until recently. I wish I knew it 30 years ago when I was in high school and then later in my early career. It would have saved me from a lot of failures and painful lessons. I clearly remember, like yesterday, my first dream of what I wanted to be when I grew up. I always wanted to be a soccer star uh, for playing for my favorite English Premier League team. I'm not going to tell you which one yet. You can read the book to learn more. But I've always been a dreamer and a hard worker. When I realized that I was not even going to make it to my high school soccer team, I quickly pivoted that dream to now aspire to become a billionaire engineer. This was way before it was cool to be an engineer or a billionaire. At first, I started breaking th a lot of things while trying to be an engineer, but sooner and later, I was building bigger and more meaningful things for bigger companies in the world. What puzzles me the most about my own journey is that in spite of failing high school on the beautiful island in Africa where I was born, to somehow making it where I am today. I think I have my father to thank who exposed me to secret number three in this book uh, before he died when I was 17. Honestly, I didn't realize the powerful impact that the zeitgeist was having on my own life until decades later when it hit me like lightning. This book has been a passion project of mine. I worked on it the last three years in collaboration with Forbes while I was rebuilding TechAllusion post-2020 and being a family member for my beautiful wife and my two amazing children. I have meticulously tested and summarized what I have learned as a corporate leader, a founder, and an innovation consultant in the form of the 10 secrets in this book. It is what got me from there to here, and I hope that it will help you succeed faster so you can accelerate your career and prosper in these very disruptive times. Last but not the least, I wish that this book helps all of us build a better version of the future that we can pass to the next generation. Thank you and see you soon.